Okay. All right. So again, this whole, if, if you were uh, looking from the beginning when we started our nonfiction unit, it's always been about this idea. Let's look at arguments and writing them and how we're going to support them. So everybody, so you know what's going on. I just need your attention. This isn't going to be very long because I want to give you time to work, but you need to know what we're doing. Okay, so you're going to support a claim. You're going to find some valid reasoning, reasoning and evidence for that claim. And this is what we're going to write about. Okay, we sort of foreshadowed this earlier when we talked about it earlier. You're going to write a short, persuasive, arg argumentative essay over one of the following topics. And it's going to be, in the United States, should citizens be allowed to burn the American flag as a show of their freedom of expression? Or... In the United States, should citizens have to stand when the Star Spangled Banner is playing? So you'll choose one of those, okay, to write about. It's going to be three paragraphs. So it's not a five paragraph essay. Remember, we said the minimum of an essay is going to be three. And that's what we're giving you a minimum essay here three paragraphs, okay? Your intro, you're going to introduce the topic. All right, we'll talk about grabbing the attention, getting that to everybody. All right, uh, you'll have a body paragraph. And a conclusion. We're going to write with this essay. It's a formal essay. You're going to write it in third person. Okay. No eyes, no use, no we as citizens. No. Keep it in third person. That's just rewording. Sometimes it's best just to write it and then go back and reword. Okay. Um, like U.S. citizens should do this. You know, you can reword it. Body paragraph will need to contain support from a credible source for your side of the argument. That's why we did the research and credibility assignment in notes the other day. Find a credible source and a credible reason for whatever side you're going to take for one of those two. You're going to do some then brainstorming and outlining, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. So this is not going to be due till next week sometime, probably close to the end of the week, okay? So keep that in mind. You're going to do a little bit at a time and it, so it's not too overwhelming. On Monday, we'll talk about the APA citation. That's something as you're writing or you can always go back and do too. On that same day, we'll talk about your work cited page. Okay, So this is getting you prepared for as you're writing later on formal essays. Again, we'll be fo focusing on common usage and capitalization like we did last time. Make sure, again, complete sentences is also something we want to look at. You know, that's usually, you guys have been pretty good with that, but also that's the other thing we're going to look at there too. And subject and predicate and the complete thought. So this is what you're going to be doing, all right, on the paper. Your intro, again, will use a grab or a hook. Uh, what I wanted to do was just make sure that there were four that you really would be good to use that maybe you could use for this one, for this grabber hook. So we'll look at the four techniques real quick. They're all the ones we've talked about them before. Then you'll have a transition statement. After that, know that you need to transition to your thesis. And then your thesis, which will be where your position is and why. What's your position and why? What's the reason that you're going to support? Okay. The strong statement for your grabber, again, just make a statement, you know, hence the upcoming election will be the most important election in the history of the United States. You know, you can make a strong state. That's probably going to be the one that really is going to be the most because these are both very hot topic issues. So both of these, you can make a strong statement on whatever side you're on for either one of them. It's probably going to be the one that you might want to use. OK, make a strong statement. OK, you could and maybe there's a fact or some sort of statistic that you can that you find when you're researching that maybe you're not going to use for support, but it's still interesting and grabs the reader's attention. You could use that. A quick little anecdote. That's another one, a little story about whether it's the, the flag burning or the, you know, not standing for the national anthem. Maybe you can have an anecdote on either side of that. Let's talk about something. Remember, anecdote, two, three sentences. That's it. You don't want to overdo an anecdote. All right, so all those are good techniques. And finally, the quotation, both of these dealing with the United States. There are a lot of different quotations you could probably do with talking about freedom and other things, okay? Patriotism, a lot of statements out there that you could use, a quote from a famous person, all right? So those are all techniques I would say go really well with this essay. Any of those, if you use, will go really well. And it might be one of those things you'll find. Uh, don't just, you know, you know, if you can't think of something right away, go work on the rest of your paper and then come back to it. Sometimes that's where you get the best ones. 
the thesis again, that's the roadmap. That's what the most important sentence in your essay. So example, burning the flag is blank because blank. So burning flag is wrong because blank or burning the flag is okay because blank. So that's what you're looking at thesis or citizens of the United States when, should stand or uh, do not have to stand when the Star Spangled Banner is playing because there's your reason. So this sets up your position reason. These are very simple. You can reword that if you want, or you can just sort of use that as a template for what your thesis is going to look like. Okay. And you're doing it. Body paragraph is a complete sentence. You state your reasoning there. You transition into the evidence that's going to be supporting the position. Citing the evidence supporting it. Be sure to have credible evidence using either ethos or logos is going to be the best thing you can find. Okay. Those are the two that you're going to be looking for when you're doing your research. And you're going to have – today is probably going to be more of a day when you'll try and find that research. What's going to be that reason that's going to support your side the best? Okay. And then you'll explain how this research ties into your reason, how that's important, and it ties into your reason and supports your argument. Finally, your conclusion, you restate your thesis, summarize your argument. It's going to be very brief because you're only doing one body paragraph. But that dominant impression is going to be the important thing. How you really, this, again, these are both, both emotional issues. So how can you really leave an impression? Here's where pathos will come into play. Here's where emotion, you're going to make that final impression using some emotion as to why your side is right. Your position is the right position. Do not end with a question. Okay, on this. Do not end with a question. Make a strong statement or a couple sentences. And it can be a couple sentences long. Okay, make a strong statement for your position truly believe in aside from this okay so questions on any of that and again i want to give you enough time to work on this and come around and help you so that's the setup these are notes they're there to help you your assignment for today is the following and we'll see how you know this goes and how much time you need Again, I don't foresee this essay being due any time before the, you know, it'd be when, well, well, you'll have definitely today, Monday, and Wednesday to work on this. Does that make sense? Those are at least two and a half class periods, if not more, depending on where you're at, okay? So the persuasive pre-writing assignment, I want you to do this, but I don't want you to submit it until you're done with everything. Then you'll submit everything together, okay? You need this. So don't submit this until everything is done, okay? The purpose of this is to prepare you to write your essay, complete the slides for your brainstorming and the outlining. So I'll have you hide, just you'll go in, you'll highlight the topic. Which one are you doing? So I know, okay? Reasons. Briefly write down your position on this. What's your position? And it would actually be one reason. I should not, I'll go back. I, I, that should not be plural because we're just doing one body paragraph. So that should not be plural. That should just be a reason. What is your one good reason we should believe the way you do? Support. Use those resources. SIRS, I'll put those back up here in a minute. You can go to SIRS, Info Ohio, if you want, Google Scholar. Or you can use another resource. Make sure it's credible. Make sure it's a toad. All right? If you remember from the other day. Okay? Make sure it matches all those things. And if it does, then you can use it. Okay? So what is the support? What's the evidence that you have? So that what, what it specifically is stating that you're going to use, okay, that support. And then tell me, who is the author? What's the title of the article, the database, where you got it from, the web address, publication, when was it published? And then is it objective? Is it subjective? Okay. Do you believe this is credible evidence? So today, if you, I don't even know if you'll get this far. Because yeah, that evidence is going to be the most important. After you have that evidence, you're going to get the writing. You know, the writing will be easy, really. All right. But if you get that far, then the outline. And remember, the outline is just a way to make sure you have the format down. Do not overwork the outline. Do not write the essay on the outline. Just make sure you have your ideas there, and that's it. An outline is not the essay or rough draft, okay? So just what are you going to use for a grabber? Make quick, well, I'm going to use a, a strong statement and maybe like something like this. That's it. Just know there's a transition. I need to then go from here to here to this thesis. The thesis would be the one full sentence I would say right out. 
Just what is your thesis going to be? Here, and go back to uh, the notes and you can use that. Your body paragraph, make sure your transition into the argument, you're going to do that. Make sure you have a signal phrase. We'll talk more about that on Monday. What's your evidence? Don't put your evidence here. Just know that you have to have it and know that there needs to be an explanation. Don't redo that. I just want you to know that's the format. For this one, just sort of check it off. I don't want you to have to, re to write everything there, but I want you to have an idea of what's coming there. And you're concluding, no, okay, I got to restate, brief summary, okay, maybe give it, you know, me your idea. What's your dominant impression going to be? How are you going to leave me with a good impression of being on your side of this argument? Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Don't overwork the outline. I want some things on there, but you don't have to overdo it. Okay, um, the main thing today is getting that support. Okay, so make sure you do that. Any questions on this? And again, I will make sure you have more than enough time to get this done and to do a good job on it. I'm not here to rush you along. All right. So I have just opened that up. And like I say, now I would go pick the topic and start thinking about what your reason and what you can find to support that. All right. For today, you have the rest of the period and I'll come around and help you if you're having difficulty or something you might not understand. Okay. So. All right.